Hopefully my internet doesn't cut out. Rick and Lee, Rick and Lee, woo, woo, woo. Hi. Is that Grant? Hi. Hi, Grant. How are you? Good. Stop cracking the bottle. Put the lid on it, please. Ah, oh, there's Maggie Moo. Who else is here? There's Jen. Jen. I don't see Maggie. Oh, if you guys are near each other, Maggie and Grant, you're going to give feedback, okay? Go to your room, Grant. Okay. Oh, there's Kaylee. She's got her water bottle ready. Hey, guys, get you a water bottle or something. You're going to need it for the game. Okay. okay. Bracken. All right, Maggie. <laughs> one of these. Bracken, get you one of these. Yeah. Oh, there's Abby Kate. Hey. Hey. Nikki, can you say, come here. Ruben's going to be on here. What does Bracken mean? Yeah, Ruben, get over here. I see Lee. There's Lee. Who's, who's Jet, Jim Seven Fire? Here's Honey. Okay, Nikki, do these water bottles need to be empty? Um, they're going to be flipping them, so uh, she, she could drink some of it. It might be better. Hey, uh, do have this small surface. Hey, you and Grant just share. There's Grant. Oh, not Here, honey, sit down. Hey, Ruben, get behind me so we can see you. I need a harder surface. Thank you. Gold. Look, there you can see everybody. See? I'm, gonna, I'm going to do something, so don't flip out. I'm going to show you guys the image for this month. It work. Uh, I have the water bottle. Ah! Okay. There. We're both okay. getting well, together. Nope, she's got to sit together or they're not. She's up there at the top. See how you're friends? Uh, yeah. I'm a bunny. Hey, Aunt. 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 Hey, I was just making sure that worked. Oh, <laughs> man. Okay, I got feedback. So I'm going to have to mute you guys. All right. Sorry, guys. I had to mute you. If you are on multiple devices, you're going to have to. Um, separate out from each other because otherwise you will give us feedback when we start talking. I'm going to try to um, mute you guys real quick. Kind of All right, I'm muted. Yeah. I don't need one from somebody. Oh, That's my question. All right. All right, guys, I am going to go ahead and pray. All right. If you don't have one of a oh, plastic water bottle, we're going to do this in a game in a minute. So I'm just giving you a heads up right now. Okay. So let's go ahead and pray. Let me see you bow your heads. Bow your heads. I see some. There we go. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, that we can come here, Lord, and be together digitally when we're far apart and that we can still 
go into your word and um, learn what you teach us. And we just thank you for this Palm Sunday and reminding us how you came in and you are truly a king that we can worship and your sacrifice for us, Lord. And we just thank you so much. In your heavenly name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So. All right. It's so weird to hear you guys muted, but I keep hearing feedback from some of y'all. So, uh, uh, hi. <laughs> I don't know who said hi. All right. I want to meet you guys again because I'm hearing feedback. Okay. So, I am Nikki, and I'm so glad you're here today. So, we're flipping things upside down this month. So, that's why. We are calling this our upside down month, and this is me showing you. Nod your head if you can see it. Can you see it? it? Says upside down, Jesus changes everything. All right, so we're flipping things upside down this month because we're talking about humility, and humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. All right. So usually we kind of want things to go our way, but humility means turning that upside down and wanting what's best for someone else. So that's not always easy, but we have the very best example of humility in Jesus. So Jesus chose to be humble and what he did for us changed the world forever. So since we're flipping things upside down, I thought we would step back into time to a game that was really popular a few years ago. So if any of you have older brothers or sisters, I bet they definitely used to do this. So I'm talking about bottle flipping, right? You guys remember the bottle flipping challenge where you went whoop and tried to land it right side up? You remember that? Shake your head yes. <laughs> All right. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, it's pretty simple. You keep trying, you keep flipping it and trying to land it right side up, all right, until it's correct. So I here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna give you guys one minute. I'm gonna set my little alarm on my phone, and you guys are going to try to land your bottles correctly as many times as you can for one minute and i'm gonna set my alarm you guys have your water bottles show me your water bottles all right my kids go to the floor because you're not doing it over here <laughs> don't do it near your computer your parents may may freak out okay so on your mark are you ready oh we're not ready yes, oh, and remember to, remember to ready. count remember to count i'm not ready I, I, Okay, remember to count how many times you flip your water bottle correctly and it lands, okay? So on your mark. Get set. Go. Go, go, go. We've already started. You can do it. You gotta count how many you get. Go, go. Stop this, guys. Woo! It landed on its cat. You got this. Woo! Halfway, three oh, seconds. Halfway. Woo! <laughs> Back. No, you didn't. All right. I, 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 I
Trust me, I was horrible at one. All right. Raise your hand if you got one. Okay, one, two. Ruben, you got one. Raise your hand. I got three. Oh, he got three. Never mind. One, one. I see three of you got one. Raise your hand if you got two. Now me. Because you did. Austin got two. All right, raise your hand if you got three. Ruben, raise your hand. Oh. Hudson and Ruben got three. Raise your hand if you got four. Abby Kate got four. Woo! And Gemma. All right, can you have to get five or higher? I'm going to drink it. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We've got Lee. Are you ready? It's not always easy to flip things upside down and show humility, guys. So, but God is always here to help us. So, we are going to go ahead and start with the story. And guys, I have I have pictures to go with the story that are going to be on your screen. So don't freak out when you see things on your screen. Because I'm going to show them. All right. I'm going to meet everybody except for Lee. There you go. Morning, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Can you hear me? You may need to speak up a little louder. <laughs> Better? Okay. We're picking up God's big story and looking at all the amazing things that Jesus did and said when he was on earth. And that comes from the Bible. There were many people who were following Jesus and learning from his teaching. They believed that he was God's son, the one whom God had sent to our Savior. But not everyone was happy with Jesus. For months, the religious leaders have been trying to find a way to capture Jesus so they could stop him from teaching. On the Sunday before Passover, Jesus entered the city of Jerusalem to break tears from the crowd. They waved palm branches to welcome Jesus and to honor him. They had all gathered in Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover feast, which was a celebration to help them remember how God had rescued his people from slavery in Egypt. Meanwhile, Judas, who was actually one of Jesus' closest friends, went to the religious leaders with a plan. This was to help the religious leaders capture Jesus in exchange for 30 pieces of silver. Believe it or not, this didn't take Jesus by surprise. He knew that there was a bigger plan. So what did Jesus do? Well, he knew that the next few days would be very difficult for his closest friends. The disciples. So he took time to prepare them for what would happen next. First, he shared the Passover meal with them, and then he led them out of the city. Judas had already left by then. He told his friends that he would be going away soon, that they would see him again. They didn't really understand what he meant by this. Jesus continued to lead them to the Mount of Olives. When Jesus got there, Jesus told them, this very night, you will all turn away because of me. None of the disciples can imagine not following Jesus. And Peter told Jesus there was no way he would ever turn away from him. But Jesus told Peter that before the rooster crowed, Peter would deny him three times. So what did Jesus do next? Well, he knew that his friends were about to leave him. If I knew my friends were about going to leave me, I might be angry at them. But Jesus wasn't mad. He invited the disciples to go and pray with him in the garden of Gethsemane. They reached the garden, and Jesus told the disciples to sit there while he went to pray. He took Peter, James, and John with him. Jesus told them, My soul is very sad. I feel close to death. Stay here. Keep watch with me. Jesus went a little farther and prayed. He said, My father, if it is possible, take this cup of suffering away from me. But let what you want to be done be done, not what I want. My, and Jesus was asking his father if there was any way for there to be a different plan. 
He was asking if there was any other way that Jesus could be pleased with mission. After he prayed, Jesus returned to his friends, and he found them sleeping. Jesus woke them up and told them it was important for them to pray. Then he went away to pray for a second time. Again, he asked God if there was any other way to complete the mission that he had been sent to do. Again, Jesus came back and found the disciples sleeping. He left them and went away to pray for a third time. He prayed the same thing. He begged God to take away what was coming. But still, he completely trusted God's plan. Once again, Jesus woke up the disciples. He said, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come. The Son of Man is about to be handed over to sinners. Get up. Let's go. Here comes the one who is handing me over to them. Judas had arrived along with a large crowd of people, carrying swords and clubs. The religious leaders had sent these angry people. Judas had explained to the people that he would greet Jesus with a kiss so they would know which man to arrest. Judas kissed Jesus on the cheek, and Jesus knew exactly what Judas was doing. But still, he said, friend, do what you came to do. As the men grabbed Jesus, Peter pulled out his sword and cut off the ear of the highest priest servant. What did Jesus do next? He could have tried to escape during all the commotion. He was powerful enough he could have easily broken free from the people who were trying to capture him. But he knew that even this was part of God's plan. He knew that the only way to complete his mission was to allow these angry people to arrest him. Jesus told Peter to put away his sword. He touched the servant's ear, and the man was healed. Jesus then spoke to the crowd. Am I leading a band of armed men against you, he asked. Do you have to come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I sat in the temple courtyard teaching, and you didn't arrest me. But all this has happened so the words of the prophets would come true. The mob arrested Jesus and took him away. Jesus' friends couldn't believe what just had happened. They were so scared that they ran away, just as Jesus had predicted. So what did Jesus do? He chose to carry out his mission. He knew that he had come to earth to die on the cross for our sins so that we could have a relationship with God that will last forever. Jesus knew that what he was about to do would bring life for everyone, that it would cost him everything. Think of all the different ways Jesus put others first. He took time to talk with his friends and prepared them for everything that was about to happen. He prayed and asked God if there was any other way to carry out what he had come to do. In the end, he trusted God and followed God's plan. He allowed the crowd to arrest him, even though he had done something wrong. Jesus showed us how to put others first. He showed true humility. So that's what we need to remember to do, too. That's our bottom line, put others first. It can be really tough for us to do what we, it can be really tough for us to do what we, to do this when we feel like putting ourselves first. That's why we need to remember all Jesus did for us. So let's pray and ask God to help us put others first. So let's pray. See everybody praying. Praying. Dear God, thank you so much for sending us Jesus to be our Savior. We can see so many ways that Jesus chose to put others first. He chose to trust you and to follow your plan. And because he did, we can have the promise of eternal life. Please help us to follow Jesus' as example and put others first. In those times when it's hard for us to give something up for someone else, help us to remember what Jesus had done for us and show humility. We love you, and we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lee. So, back up here. Don't unmute yourself, please. All right, here we go. So when Jesus was in the guard praying, garden praying, he was talking to his father and Jesus asked if there could be another way to complete his mission. But in the end, Jesus chose to do what he had come to do because it was part of God's bigger plan. This is his bigger plan. So this was always God's plan from the very beginning. 
beginning, from the moment God created the earth and everything in it, Jesus knew that he was God's amazing rescue plan. So everything in God's plan led up to Jesus, the savior of the world. Jesus knew what was coming next, that he would have to die on the cross so that he, that we could be forgiven for our sins. So that's our bottom line for the morning is that Jesus put others first. So we need to put others first. And, um, Jesus put others first. He took the hard road. He chose to take on something that was difficult and painful so that we could have eternal life. We can follow his example as we choose to put others first too. That's what we need to remember today. Put others first. Can you guys say that? Put yeah, others okay. first. So that might mean watching a TV show that your brother or sister wants to watch instead of you, what you want to watch, right? Or maybe it's being excited to go to a restaurant that your parents like, even if, well, I mean, when we get to go back to restaurants. So even if that means that you don't like it or they don't have some great kids menu, or maybe it's a game the way your friend likes to play, even if it's not the way you like to play. So putting others first means that you treat others the way that you want to be treated. You think about what they want or need. You choose their way instead of yours. So our memory verse this month is from Philippians 2, 3. It comes from the letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Philippi. He wrote... Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. So I know that it's not always easy, but we have the best example of humility, and that is Jesus. And you can, we, we can always look to the Bible or people that know him in order to know what's going on. So I am going to unmute you guys now. So quiet, so quiet. So does anybody have any questions? No, but I'm, but I'm drinking the water bottle I flicked. I don't know if you guys can hear her Lee, but she said it's like really important now, like when you're at home and you're doing things that you don't really normally do. So like help cleaning around the house, stuff like that. Yeah. All right. So can you guys do anything fun this week? Yeah. Yeah. Eliza, yeah. what did you do? That's fun. We camped out last night. We camped out. Okay. What did you do? We're planning to do things fun. Yeah, we're, we're planning some really fun stuff. Mom said we're gonna go outside and and um since the pools aren't open, uh mom said she would take uh, a little toe outside to our front patio and then me and Bob could and then we're also uh planning to like like have like a little camp thing. We're planning to get some wood in the fire pit and roast marshmallows. Wow, she does have a lot of fun things planned. We did yeah, we're, we're playing the one thing. I baked a cake with my babysitter. Who said that? Who made a cake with their babysitter? Oh, that's so fun. All right, guys. Well, it was great seeing you. Haley Kennedy, did you do anything fun this week? All right, guys. Wave to everybody. Say bye. I'm ending the meeting. It was so good seeing you. Be in touch. See ya. Bye. Bye.